Yeah, just enough clearance. There's some giant boulders out here. Ooh, what's up guys? Welcome to a post Thanksgiving day hike. So that's what we're doing out here. I ate way, way too much food. And so we're gonna force ourselves to hike up this mountain. <laughs> and I figured I would take you guys along. I'm gonna try to get some photos. It's kind of a landscape photo challenge with uh, zero clouds yet again. This is my 2020 motto for New Mexico is like no clouds. Let's get set up and then I'll talk to you some more about what's going on. Wow, there is way too much stuff in this bag to be a recon hiking. We're gonna have to, there's way too much stuff in here. All right, I think we got everything. I changed my mind. I grabbed my R6 and my 70 to 200 because I'm seeing a lot of stuff there's still a lot of pretty fall colors and stuff out here. And I want maybe some more intimate shots and some more compression. So I did throw the 16 to 35 in the bag though, because it's such a light lens. My God, I'm out of shape. Too much pie. <laughs> I think we're at 8,000 feet elevation right now, maybe a little higher. There's still a surprising amount of color. Most of it's on the ground, but some of these, there might be some backlit potential out here coming up on a nice clearing. So the other three, so the other reason that I came up here well, that I'm doing this whole thing is I have a lot of times, if you guys follow my channel, you know I do a lot of time lapses and I do a lot of things like at once, you know, I, I multitask like a little too much probably. So I have like three cameras, you know, I got this one and Brittany's got one and another in my bag. There's a lot of times where I'm going places and I'm doing stuff and I feel like it would make really great content for the channel, but all my cameras are in use and that kind of sucks. And sometimes I have vlogged with my phone, but the one thing that's always been bumming me out about the phone is the audio quality. And I've been wanting to test how good the S20 Plus, or sorry, the S20 Ultra is for vlogging without a bunch of stuff. Oh, I'm still really winded, huh? So now it's getting windy up here and the audio is what was concerning me. So I asked Moment what they recommended for uh, good phone audio solutions. And they sent me what I'm using right now, which is this. So this is a sure, this is just a pouch because <laughs> everything's in use, but I'll show you guys. They sent me this sure uh, video mic setup for this video kit. Actually, I, I was just asking for a microphone, but they sent me this whole kit and it comes with this little tripod. And most importantly, it comes with the, uh, the sure microphone, little uh, shotgun mic, and it has a USB-C, which is great for all the newer phones, uh, mine included because I haven't been able to plug my video, my Rode Video Micro into my phone without adapters that I don't want. The adapters just never work right with the phones and I didn't want to deal with it. So this is natural and Moment said this was one of the best solutions that they you know personally use and, and, and have. So uh, I told him I would definitely like to give it a try. 
So this video is sponsored by Moment and Sure today. So thanks for hooking me up with this, guys. Hopefully this whole time that we've been talking, I haven't been hearing the wind because it is blowing up here now that we're in this beautiful clearing that's probably blown out on the camera. I don't know what the camera's doing because I'm using the rear, the back lens, the ultra wide. So hopefully it's not freaking out. Hopefully the video is not freaking out completely. I guess the other part of this video is going to be how good is the S20 for vlogging in these kind of conditions where the light's changing real crazy. Hopefully, I don't have to worry about the audio. So I was really hoping for a cloud. I think the weather app said that there was a very small possibility of like at least a cloud. No, not a cloud in sight. But if nothing else, this is a really good uh, switching hands because my chicken arm's broken. <laughs> There's nothing else, this is a really good spot for uh, astro and sunset and just it's always good to scouting scouting is super important so let's see if we can't get a few scouting shots with the 70 to 200 and see what things look like up here All right, so I figured I found my uh, my road video micro in my bag, so I threw it on Brittany's camera so that she could record so I can show you guys. This is it. That's the Shure microphone, and it comes with this awesome, well, it didn't come with, I think the dead cat was separate, but that's the microphone there. And it came with this little tripod, which is great as, you know, a holdy bit and great to set it down if you need to. But mostly I'm just concerned about the audio. I mean, you can get any of this stuff anywhere and Moment has a ton of different types of tripods and holdy bits and everything. So far, it's pretty awesome. And I like the fact that it comes in this little case that I can just keep anywhere, like throw it in the car. And, and uh, if I decide I wanna do an impromptu vlog or whatever, or in my bag, then I can at least have the good audio that I want. So let's go walk through the forest some more and see if we can find some more intimate shots with the 7200. Ooh, that wind is picking up. Wow, I wanna to try to photograph this really warpy oak. And I love this right here. These rocks with the lichen on them and then all the oak leaves and this, I don't know if I could find a composition, especially with the 7200, but, and there's no light right now, but the, the brightness and the warmth you know, the warm color, the orange just kind of color coming off from these oak leaves might, might be able to get a shot without any like fancy lighting from the sun or anything. But this is, so I just love this forest area. I love how the pine trees are kind of opening up and you have these oak in the middle of everything. And a lot of these oaks are just so gnarly. Let's see if we can get a shot. Okay, so this spot right here, I was, my belt, I'm stuck. I need to get out of my bag. <laughs> All right, this composition possibly looks really cool, but it requires a 16. So I'm not even gonna bother switching lenses. I'm just gonna turn this on and go. Wow, I almost never have lens caps on there. That's kind of surprising. As a side note, I'm a little curious how this footage looks because there's no more sun. So, you know, the phones with their small sensors kind of struggle. This is looking cool. Oh man. So for this one, I'm gonna go with a more medium F-stop. I'm gonna go with F8. So it should be nice and sharp in the area that I want, which is this rock here. And I just love how we have the V going up to that. Here, I'll show you guys. 
what I'm looking at. So here's what I'm looking at. It's a 16 by nine, but I just, I love, so we'll go from like there to there and you'll have this big, beautiful rock leading you into this gnarly oak. We'll back out a little bit. Notice that sky is really blown out. So we're gonna cut that sky off and I'm gonna have the branch. It's gonna look more like that because it's gonna be a four by five. Okay, so, and if I get closer to it, the cool thing about this and the wide angles is a lot of people frown on distortion, but distortion can be your friend. So what I'm gonna do is use the distortion and exaggerate this front rock by putting it in the bottom of the frame. That's really gonna make this pop. And the cool thing about this technique is it's good for any camera, including the phones, because if you have an ultra wide or whatever on your phone, the closer you get something to the edges, even on the phone, whether it's the camera or not, um, whether it's the phone camera or the regular camera, you're gonna get that distortion. And if you do it right, you can use it. Distortion can be your friend. So I'm gonna take the shot. I'm gonna take a couple shots because I don't know if I like that tree on the left, but if I crop in a little bit. Wow, that is so gnarly. That's really cool. Okay, I think we've shot this to death now. It would be maybe a little more epicer with more light, <laughs> but I think that's cool. I'm happy. I just love all the texture and stuff on this rock. It's ridiculous. Wow, that's some pretty, okay. So I think between all of that, we've got at least a couple shots that I can make work out of that. I'll probably, I'm gonna do a shameless plug here real quick. I'm probably gonna use my preset pack. I have my fall, I have a couple of fall colors preset pack, autumnal color shift, which works really well with this color palette in this uh, foresty scenario. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along with me, walking virtually losing some weight maybe. <laughs> oh, I hope I burned a few calories. Wow, this path is really cool looking, these rocks. So I'll be really curious to see how the phone is handling in terms of the video quality handling this. I've got it, I'm shooting on the rear facing camera on the wide angle. And the wide angle is sensor is not as good as the main sensor. So when it gets lower light, I prefer to use the main sensor, but that's just too close to my face. I'm not putting this thing on a selfie stick. Man, I love this. All of these rocks back here, all of this, this little cliff face with these exposed, this is all rhyolite from a volcanic eruption about 29 million years ago. That's the geologist in me coming out. So huge shout out to Moment and Sure for hooking me up with this stuff. And I will definitely be putting it to a good use more often because I do as soon as pandemic pending, of course, I do have a lot of plans for traveling next year. And it's gonna be a lot easier if I can vlog on my phone and know that I'm gonna be getting good audio and decent video out of it. I love this shot. This is actually, I got a really cool shot of here uh, a few weeks ago when this fallen oak tree had color on it and that was really nice. And I got that with the RP and the 16, or no, maybe it was the 24, something like that, but it was really cool. So I'll have the links for all that stuff down below. And I also have the links for the rest of my gear, which, you know, those are affiliate links. They help me out. I really appreciate it when you click on that stuff. But 
it's genuine. It's all the stuff that I use and love. And I have my preset packs down below. So if you guys want some Lightroom camera raw preset stuff and you want to uh, change your editing style a little bit or see how I edit, then that's what they're there for. And I really appreciate all of the amazing feedback you guys have been giving me on that stuff already. So huge thanks to you guys. Huge thanks to Moment and Sure and it is now tea time. So hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already because I do have new videos every week. And thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.